doesn't say we're offline. I can't type. I don't think we're offline. Okay. See, it's all red still up there. It doesn't say we're offline. Oh, we're not. I can't type. Why is the volume suddenly happening? I don't think we're offline. Okay. Help. See, it's all red still up there. <laughs> Help. It doesn't say we're offline. Oh, we're not. Wait. I can't type. <laughs> what? I don't know what's going on. I don't think we're offline. Ah. Okay. Help. See, it's all red still up there. Help. Help. It doesn't say we're offline. There we go. Oh, we're not. Wait. I can't type. <laughs> what? I don't know what's going on. Help. Hi, milk and cookies. Did I do it? I think so. We're we're still streaming. Hey, we're we're offline. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. stop. Not. We can't type. <laughs> 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 what's going on? Hi, milk and cookies. Did I do it? I think so. We're we're still streaming. Hey, we're offline. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, stop. Not. We can't type. What's going on? Hi, milk and cookies. Did I do it? I think so. We're we're still streaming. Hey, we're there we go. Oh, wait, wait. Stop. <laughs> there. Oh, right. it was on Twitch. Yeah. That's bizarre. So weird. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Is the did you unmute it? No. Should I? Well, yeah. It should be fine now. Okay. Oh no! Now it's muted. Wait. Okay. What did you? Are Are we good? No, guys, sorry about the <laughs> chaos there for a second. <laughs> what was I cutting this up for? Hey, Sniper Skunk. Hi, Sniper Skunk. Well, we're cutting up for the tacos. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so are we just having um, the onions and the peppers? That's pretty much it, right? Yeah, onions and peppers for the tacos. And also some peppers for the... Um, no, Mario. For the um, chicken a la king. Okay. And salad. Okay. I'll be cutting those up a little bit differently, though, for the salad. Do you want me to start cooking the ground beef for the spaghetti? Yeah. That would be cool. <coughs> I think I... Yeah, I turned it on already. Oh, dear. I thought I felt something warm over there. <laughs> Hi, Sniper Scott. Did I already say that? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what I never did? I never switched us to close up. Oh, yeah. That would make our picture better, probably. Fancy switching. We <laughs> oh, did it? Yeah. Okay. You wanna, uh, after I brown this, you can give me the onions and I'll brown those too. Okay. And garlic. Spaghetti sauce. Sauce of the spaghetti. All right. Wait, silly kitty. You said if someone is using a microwave, they'll cause problems too. Oh sure, I used one. Oh. Yeah, it would. It would make noises and stuff. Probably interfere with the stream. Oh, weird. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart and drop a follow. I'll love you forever. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Working Chef 2. Wait a minute. Yeah, I was cutting this up for the tacos to add some color contrast. Tacos. Chicken tacos. Ooh, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> you're, you're eating the lasagna from yesterday. Who? You. Oh, yeah. I'm, who else would I be talking to? Oh. All right. Awesome, Granites. Ask Silly Kitty if she made uh, uh, lasagna yet. Okay. <clears throat> now, Silly Kitty needs to wake her husband up. Oh. <laughs> Let 
Boop. All right. So, um, for those that uh, just dropped in, hi, French guy. Um, hi, French guy. We are doing uh, meal planning for a week. <coughs> so, Monday is roast chicken on rice with uh, salad. Tuesday is chicken tacos. We're going to utilize the leftovers um, from today's chicken and uh, add some taco seasoning to it and have it be awesome and stuff. <laughs> Did you get chicken tortillas? I thought you had tortillas. Oh my. I don't know. Mm. We're not going to actually make it all up though anyway. No, we're not. No, it's because not it's, it's supposed to be made up later anyway. Um, so, and then on Wednesday, we're, we are right now prepping the spaghetti sauce for um, a meaty spaghetti dinner. Spaghetti a la marinara. <laughs> marinara. If uh, you wanted to be a little bit fancy. <laughs> instead and of calling it sauce. Instead of calling it sauce. <laughs> um, and then Thursday, we're doing lasagna roll-ups. We have the lasagna uh, noodles. From the lasagna? From the lasagna that we'd made last week, or a few days ago. They weren't cooked yet. You yeah, cooked they weren't. Already. Yeah, I, I just, I cooked them already. They're just hanging out. And Hi, you, Ray Banks. You ran cold water over them? Yeah. Is that how you kept them from sticking? Yeah. I, I could use some onions and garlic for my spaghetti sauce over here. Okay. All right. Garlic. I got to chop that up really quick so she actually has some garlic. All right. Can I have the onions already? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to take the onions. <laughs> From the spaghetti sauce. From the spaghetti sauce. Now put the label in. Don't put the label into your <laughs> into your dish. All right, squish, squish, chop, 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 Mario, no. He's just sitting on the floor with his head on the floor. I know. Just going. Now remember, uh, guys, if you don't feel confident uh, cutting the vegetables or, or things like that yourself, feel free to have a, a parent or a guardian watch you do it or have them do it. Unless you are the parent or guardian. But even still, <laughs> if you don't feel confident, you should have somebody else do it. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Knives are dangerous. I'm going to pop some uh, wine in here, okay? All right. I'm going to add the that garlic and other things. A little bit of other things. All right. All right. You want to switch it to the spaghetti sauce on the stove? Yes. And I'll explain what we've done here. Yeah. Please no cut like Ariel. Oh, Ariel. <laughs> no. Ariel. <laughs> so this is about, I think it's a little more than a pound of ground beef. It looks like more. Yeah. It might be a pound and a half. And then we have a chopped onion in here and the garlic. And that's all that's in here. I didn't even put oil in here because it's a kind of non-stick pan. It's less non-stick than it used to be, but it used to be non-stick. And now I'm going to pour about half a cup of wine in here, red wine. Whee! Red, red, red wine. a little more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since our spaghetti sauce prep is pretty much done. No, it's, oh yeah. We don't really yeah. need this anymore. We don't have any more veggies to add. Well, can we use that to put gun sauce in oh. later? Yeah, I guess yeah, so. That's what I was trying to say to you. Oh, I earlier. see. Get it? Yeah, I get it now. Okay. Even though it has <laughs> a separator. 
What else? All right. Anywho, I'm gonna pour um, the sauce the sauce in here. Okay. All right. All right. All four cans go in this, right? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna put the diced um, tomatoes in here. This is one of the few things we use canned food for. Um, neither of us use much canned food, do you? No, I don't either. Well, so we're using tomato tomatoes and tomato sauce and stuff are great canned. They just are. I like them better than fresh, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like them better canned. So we put in two cans of uh, tomato sauce and two cans of diced tomatoes. And uh, it's really thick. It's very nice. So it should stay this way. Oh, and I forgot the spaghetti sauce mix. Right. So my secret ingredient for spaghetti sauce is, where am I? This you're, stuff. You're not even in the... I'm in that one. Not that there, one. right? Yeah. But it's this one. And it's um just a big McCormick spaghetti sauce seasoning. It just has really good stuff in it, and it tastes wonderful when you're spaghetti. So this is a lot of spaghetti sauce. So I think I'm going to put, well, let's read the directions. I don't want to lead anybody astray. <laughs> it says three tablespoons of spaghetti sauce mix for two cups of uh, serving of spaghetti. <laughs> Sniper skunk, you should know better by now. Um, you should you should eat before watching me stream. <laughs> So, we're going to put in about a quarter cup. So, I'm going to just pour this in here. Mm, that's good. And yeah, a little more. All right. <laughs> that might do it. We may have to taste it later and add more, but it should work. And now, all of a sudden, we have spaghetti sauce where before we just had tomatoes and beef. So, and you can buy this. Um, seasoning at the store in just a little packet, that kind of thing. But it's so much cheaper to buy in bulk at Costco or Sam's Club if you're going to use it often. All right, guys, I wanted to show you really quick a slightly different way to cut a bell pepper than I have been showing you. Oh, yeah? Uh, this is for the salad. It's just a slightly fancier cut. What you do is you cut off the top and then you gut the middle. Rah! And then you take it and you do thin slices on it. So you got full circles. Well, <laughs> you try to get full circles. Am I still on? Oh, no, you switched me. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Now we're just going to let it sit there. That's pretty much it. I didn't even put any oil in it. Pretty healthy spaghetti sauce, I would say. All right, and then this end bit we could save for like omelets, or we can. I don't know. That's a lot of bell peppers for our, um, <laughs> for our tacos. Uh, we'll save it for another day. So we got these cool cuts of. Uh, of bell peppers that will be really cool to to kind of just like place on a salad maybe with a, a ring of this one too like two green one orange ring and it's just a little uh, cute little presentation that you easy easy presentation you can do or you can chop them in half <laughs> if you want you don't have to be all presenting stuff. That's just me. So like for the garnish you would use these and then uh, cherry tomatoes and just sprinkle that on there. And then I'm going to slice up this cucumber and then sprinkle those around. So we're just going to take our slices. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Put them in our salad container. I need a bigger salad container. Need some more spaghetti sauce. Whoa. Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa, there. Why'd you turn that off? Oh, because it was burning, and I would like to save my hand. Oh. You need to put liquid in it. And you were talking. I did not want to interrupt your oh, okay. stream of consciousness. <laughs> So um, I just took the chicken innards and uh, put a, placed a mirepoix in there. And now I'm going to cover it with some cold water. And we're going to boil it for our, our own chicken stock. You can save money by doing this. That's the only, really re the only real reason why I would buy a whole chicken is to use the bones later for a chicken stock and to use the innards for a chicken stock. It does taste better than a botany chicken stock, for sure. You can make nice gravies out of it. Right, Jess? Right, right, right. Oh, see, that's looking beautiful, don't you think? Yeah. That looks like a very nice spaghetti sauce. Okay, all right. And I am almost done with the salad prep. I only have. Mmm, just remember. The cucumber you might actually just want to chop fresh, mm, fresh, because it has um, the tendency to go bad after three days. So if you can, I would get smaller cucumbers and slice you know, those up. Do you know where the lid is for that? For the that oh yeah, right here. It's under here. <coughs> So something really cool and really easy that that you can do. Uh, buy a sniper gun for like, like I, I do presentation things. I'm a chef. <laughs> it's just a thing. Is to draw a fork, the fork tines completely down and all the way around your. Uh, Whoa. Ouch your cucumber. You won't be able to see it necessarily on the first couple slices because I didn't get all the way down. But this one you can kind of see. I should go a little bit deeper. But it gives it a nice little texture. Thing that you would add to your salads. That is adorable. Thanks. I try. <laughs> so if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart. Drop a follow. I'll love you forever. And let me know if my follow alerts aren't working. <laughs> because uh, we just are using a, a different broadcasting software. We're using XSplit as opposed to OBS today. Oh. Follow alerts are only on one screen so far. I didn't have time to put them on all, everything. Oh, okay. They're only on the main wide screen. Okay. They're still being done. Just <laughs> we won't see them. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, well thank well, you everyone yes. who has followed and, and hasn't had a, a thing pop up for them. Hello, G Rule 13. G rule thirteen. Can you pronounce that phonetically for me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, type it phonetically. Or t yeah, type it. Yeah. Whatever you know. Yeah. <laughs> type it phonetically for me. So that would be pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> it is so hard to read these these names out loud. Mm -hmm. It is fun though to try and do it. <laughs> Now you can also um, do a dice on your cucumber too if you really wanted to. Hmm, I didn't think that through. I should have done that the other way. Oh wait. Okay, I got this. <laughs> ah. There we go. Set them side by side. Boop. Dice. Dice cucumbers. And you can also take out the seeds if you want for that. And I'm going to find a different container for that. Because ah, the one I got wasn't big enough.
All right, for those that just arrived, um, we are doing uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm losing my thoughts. We are doing uh, meals for a week. And uh, if you type in exclama exclamation food, you can see what we're making. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if they heard you. But um, if you type exclamation food, you can see what we are doing. But uh, basically, we're doing seven different dishes. We're doing uh, chicken, roasted chicken with rice and salad, chicken tacos. Um, we're doing uh, spaghetti sauce for uh, spaghetti. <laughs> And also, we're utilizing the spaghetti sauce for lasagna roll-ups on Thursday. And then on Friday, we got the chicken a la king. And on Saturday, we are going to be having the boneless beef chuck slow roaster meal um, with this sauce. You just put the roast in the slow cooker with the sauce, and you let it go. <laughs> Really simple. Directions are on the package. And the directions are in the package. And then on Sunday, we're doing um, SOS. Beef in uh, creamy sauce on rice. And, yeah. I think I've done all the veggie prep. Good. All right, that's all ready to go. Okay, what's next? I got the spaghetti done. We should probably, since you got the spaghetti done, we should probably do the roll-up part. And uh, okay. basically going to create the roll-ups right now and put them into a container. And then we're going to have to cool the sauce down, though, because... We're not going to put the sauce on the roll-ups. Okay, we're not going to put this sauce uh, up on the roll-ups until... Um, <laughs> you yeah. can microwave them with the sauce on it. Yeah, it's... it's uh, Good idea to never come to a food stream hungry. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to set this aside somewhere. We'll utilize these oh, in another dish in the future. I think this would be a good roll-up pan. Yeah. Put them all in. We can squish them in there. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. So since we are completely done with our veggie prep for all seven meals, we're going to get rid of our cutting board, wash our knife, because you want to keep that your knife sharp, and a good way to do that is to keep it clean. Take good care of your knives, and your knives will take good care of you. Sorry about that, guys. That is uh, our, our maitre d'. <coughs> guys. Hey, quit it. Hey, come here. Come here. He has to visit. Uh, can you make the screen big? Oh, right. This is our maitre d' of our channel. <laughs> he is a corgi. He was a little under a year old. And um, he's super cute. Yeah, he's super cute and super sad. He's super bored. Super bored. He's like, you guys have not dropped enough food today. All right, wash the hands. Hold on, sorry. Ruben's not out. What do you I just want to sit around. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're going to take the rest of our ricotta. We're going to mix. Oh, let's get rid of this. <laughs> we are going to. Um, oh, yeah, Smixy Raptor. Thank you for the follow earlier. <laughs> yeah, he's he's the most gorgeous dog in the world. Aren't you? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Mine's pretty cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so on her. I'm going to put my knife away. Be right back. Move it. Oh. Why is this not working? All right. So we're just going to place our... I have lasagna noodles that I had... Uh, oh, no. Okay, they're still working, right? Yeah. Cool. Large lasagna noodles. <laughs> they're pretty strong. Uh, let's see. I think what I want to do is I want to actually prep them on a sheet pan. Thank you for the follow. Jay, oh, I need to move that. I cannot do that at all. Jay, Jay, <laughs> Jay, real, uh, Jay, real 13. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. All right, so I'm going to put a little teeny bit of olive oil on the on the cutting board so it doesn't stick. So the noodles don't stick. Any moment, olive oil is going to come out. This needs to be refilled. Uh. All right. Oh, I see why, because they're at the bottom. We're just going to swoosh that around, swoosh, 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 just because we don't want our uh, noodles to stick to the bottom when we're prepping them. A really uh, fast way to prep out your lasagna roll-ups would be to lay them out onto a sheet pan like I'm doing right here. And uh, can you get the ricotta mix uh, together? Yeah. What's wrong? My iPad's not hooking up. To us at all. You're fine, right? Okay. J J R R L L 13. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. I can't even think of something to shorten that. Yeah. <laughs> Mario, no. Shh. I just picked you up and, and talked to you and held you. So we're going to lay these guys out. And uh, typically uh, one per person should do it, really, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just roll these up and then we'll add more later. Only one? If we have enough oh, cheese filling, right. it would be. I think we do. What are we going to add to it? An egg. Uh, Italian seasoning, salt. So that's it? it. Okay. I'll just do it right in that container. Yeah. And it's okay to mix your stuff in the container it's already in if you have enough room. I have to restart my uh, <coughs> Mario, no. <coughs> what is his deal? <laughs> wow. I keep tripping. Yes, Granite, the plaster is back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I have a fork? Yeah. Can I mix this up with? Put it this. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart and drop a follow. I'll love you forever. You can also follow me at WorkingChef2 on Twitter. And I have a YouTube in case you... Uh, miss any part of my stream, it will be put up there almost immediately. Right afterwards, I think. Right? Uh, yes. Okay. On Twitch. Oh. Oh, on YouTube. On, on YouTube. I haven't been, yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Well, it'll, it'll be put up sometime tonight. <laughs> <laughs> or whenever Twitch decides to do it. I don't know how it works. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to do the piping thingy again. 
because it's a good way to control what you have of your product and it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. It is a cool way to do it. Uh, I need some other stuff. All right. Like some spice. Ah! All right. That's Italian seasoning. I take Italian it. Italian seasoning. We're gonna put some pepper, black pepper, and then some salt. It might have been a bit too much. Yeah. Can you give me a little spatula, please? The little one, is there a littler one? Yeah, this side. Okay, oh, that side. Oh, yeah. It's a double sided spatula. I forgot. Double sided spatula. It came with my blend tech or something. All right, <laughs> give me the bag. Hold the bag out. So, all we did was we took the. <laughs> we took the uh, ricotta cheese. It's about a, how many? 15 ounces of ricotta cheese in here. And we added an egg, mixed it all up. Put some Italian seasoning and some salt and pepper in it. It is. It, trust oh, me on okay. this. Seriously. All right. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously. I'm so super cereal. Seriously. Super cereal. Okay. So we're just emptying it all in there. See, this is not how I would have done it at all. I'm glad you thought of it. This is a, such a better idea. It's going to be a little on the runny side, though. Yeah, I think because we had it sitting out. Probably. It's a good idea to refrigerate your creamy cheese stuff. <laughs> and creamy stuff. You could, speaking of cheese, you could add some Parmesan if you have it. Or anything. Um, we used all of ours. We have that garlic Italian seasoning, though. Or the garlic uh, seasoning oh, with the Parmesan. Oh, yeah. Well, hold still. Hold, hold it back. Yeah. Not done yet. I should have used the big end. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I needed the smaller one. No, Cranids. Okay. We do not add the brown food coloring. What? I don't know why you would. <laughs> to what? There is no such thing as brown food coloring. Well, not that we have. I guess you can make it. There, there actually is a, a food, like a, a stuff for sauces to darken the sauce. Oh, here, you want some of that? But it's all chemically and stuff. I'm turning this off. Okay. Turned off the spaghetti sauce. It's it's quite done. So well, you just want to sprinkle it on top. Yeah, that's we'll what do I that. do. Okay. So we're gonna sprinkle some good old Johnny's on top. Over here. <laughs> is this big? This, is this good enough like this, or should we be on close up? Um, we should be on close up once we get there. Okay. Turning it to close up. We need a bigger walkway. <laughs> We could push the island back. We could. Okay. Bag. There you go. We're we'll just it off the end. Scissors. Oh, we found them. Over here for some reason. Oh, they're right here too. Eek. Don't leave the sink, dude. Yeah. Well, that can't go down the sink. I know. Well, we would, we would fix it later. No, we wouldn't. We would get lost. You are incorrect, sir. Oh, it's it's like completely coming out. Like it's not working. No, it's 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 working. It's just. I don't understand. Is that how you want it? You don't want to just like go down the middle or something? That's yeah, I was, I was trying to figure out should I do that. I probably should have done that. It's pretty liquidy. Uh, don't mind me. I'm going to use my fingers. You always <laughs> do. That's true. I do always use my hands. That's not done, is it? Uh, maybe turn it up to 425 and we'll do that for 15 minutes. Try and get a more caramelized -y flavor looking chicken. We're cooking our chicken for 15 more minutes. How long did you put it in there to begin with? An hour. <coughs> so yeah, piping it would have been better, like straight, a straight line. <laughs>
<laughs> As it stands right now, this, know, this feels weird. Why? Why would you pipe it into a big glob? I don't know. I don't know. But I, sometimes I know not the things I do. I know. That's <laughs> all right. Just pipe it on there correctly this time. <laughs> I think they'll have enough for a few of them. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. All right. And you want kind of a lot of filling in the middle. Oh. Mama Chef is wearing out. <laughs> I've been working on that darn computer for days. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sleeping. All right. Can we go back to the main screen. It's not. All I'm gonna do here is just roll it up like this. So you don't really need to see that. Where did the seasoning go? There you are. So she's gonna add some more uh, seasoning to it. It's just the Johnny's um, garlic uh, cheese spread. There's garlic, Parmesan cheese in it. Nom nom nom. Tasty, I put that tasty. in the spaghetti too, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I add it to everything that I can think of. Except just kept sweet stuff. I like so, it. Oh, that's my water bottle. Yeah, the that's also the sound of uh, a host, I think. It's near it, but not exactly. Yeah, it's close. Rollin', 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 keep them doggies rollin', raw high! Da 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 I don't know the rest of the song. <laughs> da 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 Oh, sure. You definitely could add meat to those. Oh, yeah. We, uh, you, you could add meat to those, but we are actually putting a meat sauce on top of it. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit unnecessary, and I piped too much out. That's right. You just don't roll it up as tight. Okay. So it has more cheese stuff in it. All right. <sighs> ah! Some of the noodles did not make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. How many are we going to end up with, do you think? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Two for each person if you have four people. Perfect. <laughs> I'm not looking. Don't look, guys. Oh, yo, yo. No. Oh, well, it's on small screen, so they can't exactly see. Uh -huh. So That's, that's good. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> uh, most of these things are is stuff that we've done before, but most of the stuff we cook, but some, sometimes it's stuff we don't do very often. Yeah. And so we don't always remember. Remember correctly. Yeah. How to do it. And then sometimes we just make it up as we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are we doing tomorrow? Oh, Lord. Nothing. <laughs> Cleaning my, my refrigerators. No, no, we have to stream tomorrow. Tomorrow's our like our huge day of people. Streaming. Yeah, we'll talk later. Okay. <laughs> we should have figured that out already. We, how about we make the chicken tacos for tomorrow? What? On a stream? Yeah. Why not? It'll take like ten minutes. Not necessarily. Yes. I'm. I'll make it fancier. I'll add stuff. But that would. That, that that doesn't serve our purpose for today, which is making a bunch of meals all at once. Showing people how you can do that ahead Shoot. of time, all of you. Easily, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Oy vey. What did French guy say? Mario outranks me? 
They must be saying something, talking to each other or something like um, that. Make all the things, Kranitz says. Thanks, Kranitz. We can always count on you. <laughs> <laughs> all the things. All the things. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm out of ideas at the moment. How about, um... Oh. oh, I got it. How about we do like um, um, the custard French toast dish so that we can show people something really fancy they can make for the holidays for oh, the yeah. family. Okay. I think you can pre-make that and cook it the next day too. I'll look up the recipe as soon as my iPad restarts. Is it is it the pumpkin? No. No. Mm -mm. Okay. It's um something that um Dace's mom made and gave us the recipe. Oh, it's creme brulee French toast. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to be doing creme brulee French toast. Uh at let's see, tomorrow we'll start what time? Mm, one. Tomorrow we will start at 1 p.m. and we will be doing the creme brulee French toast, which is a great dish to make for the holidays if you have a whole bunch of people over um, or to bring over to a holiday party uh, with for family breakfast. for breakfast. Yeah. Or brunch. Or, hey, or brunch. Uh, you know. Or if you want, you know. No. Dessert. Snack. Dessert and snack and stuff. <laughs> it's a heavy snack, but you can do it. <laughs> He's going to stop you. Yeah. So we're going to be more uh, December theme focused uh, pretty much probably for the rest of the, the month here. We'll make a holiday ham. Um, and what other things do people make during the holiday? We'll look that we'll look that up and we'll do stuff like that. <laughs> hey Ray Banks. Hey Ray Banks. And why is French guy gonna bring an extinguisher? I am confused. <laughs> Pourquoi, French guy? Pourquoi? <clears throat> Alright, that one was it's a pretty fat roll right there. <laughs> Good. The fatter the better, I always say. <laughs> you can stand those up in that container I gave you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? On you don't think end? because they're so liquidy that they'll fall out? Um, okay, yeah. lay them down. Yeah. Mm. So we got a little bit of olive oil on the outside. Uh, of course we do. Well, yeah, we have to. <laughs> so that these do not stick to, to each, each other. other. Yeah. We're do just going to place them in here. Now, when did you put the olive oil on them? Um, I put it on the sheet pan and it transferred to the... Oh, good idea. Yeah. So you need to make sure you tell people these things. No, did I you? did. Oh, you did? When I did it. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's making me hungry as well, an infamous Matt. <laughs> Hello, infamous oh, Matt. Oh, for your cream brulee. brulee yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's really good. You need flame for your cream brulee. Oh, Friend. that's what French guy is talking about. Oh, okay. You are correct. We'll see what we can do about that. <laughs> sure, why not? So it'd be really easy to just take this and uh, transfer it into uh, a roasting pan, lay the sauce over it, then lay your uh, cheese on top, throw it in the oven for like 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, and then you will have delicious lasagna roll-ups. You could also, if you're a microwave person and you only want a few of them, you could take them out, put them in the microwave, put some sauce on them, cover them with a paper towel, a plastic wrap poked with holes and uh, do the same kind of thing. Just nuke them for like a minute, two minutes at a time. So we have one dish already prepped and ready to go. 
well, two dishes technically, because we have our sauce over here. Ooh, it's so saucy. That. Can you switch it? You want it? me to switch it? Yeah. You can let me know. Hold on, we're switching. <laughs> there we go. All right, so you see our sauce here. We're going to use that for um, our plan is to use that on Wednesday for the um, spaghetti and then on Thursday for the lasagna roll-ups, which we have right here. So two dishes done. So French guy, when you say you put the cheese in the middle, you mean you put the cheese on top of the roll-ups and then put the sauce on top? That would be a nice way to do it as well. Yeah. Or you could even put cheese inside of the... If you wanted to get really make it difficult. <laughs> you can just sprinkle some cheese on top. What the heck? And then put sauce on it. I don't know. There's so many ways you can do this. All right, so we're going to place saran wrap around this. We have a lid. Just put it somewhere and I'll get a lid for it. Okay. If you don't have a lid, place saran wrap around it and uh, make sure to keep it labeled for, like, lasagna roll-up. Don't do that now, sweetie. It's okay. We, oh, no. Really? Okay. Chef wants to do that right now so you guys see that. Okay. All right, Chef. I just put roll. Okay. It's really easy. All right. And if you want, you can separate your spaghetti sauce into two separate containers. Uh, one for your regular, uh, for your spaghetti, and the other for your roll-ups. We're not going to do that, though, most likely. Probably not, but that's how you do it. Yeah. All right, next thing, let's see, prep the veggies for the tacos. Rice is ready to go. Let's check our chicken. And then what's the, le is there only like one more dish we have to make? There. This is going um, really fast. Yeah, there is the chicken a la king. Okay, and, and that's it. And the beef and creamy sauce. So basically we're going to do one sauce. One sauce for the chicken a la king and for the, thank you for the follow. Whoever it is. <laughs> I'll change the camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hello, the beats. We, we cannot tell who it is. We are cooking um, a lot of things at once today. Today is uh, a week's worth of meals prep Don't. and uh, prep and uh, cooking. So we are going to do next oh. our chicken a la king sauce and our beef and creamy sauce sauce. This is interesting. So French guy says uh, when the dish is cooked, turn off the oven and put cheese on top because in France people don't like crunchy cheese on the top. Huh. You can right. do that or 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 what I do because delicious cheese. <laughs> Uh, because I have, uh, I, I love crunchy cheese. It's a, it's a cultural difference there. Oh, Jessica, you don't have the meals for the week actually written out. No, I don't. You didn't tell me that. Yeah. Oh, that's why I keep stopping you from saying what you're doing because it takes too long and you've already told people. Here, I'll go over the list while you cook more stuff. Okay. Um... <coughs> I need to bring up the recipe that Felga sent me for the uh, chicken a la king. That right. is in my discords. It's pretty much the same thing that we made the other day. Um, oh, I don't know. We're just going to make a white sauce and uh, put, look it up. Look it up. I am. Oh, we were. Uh, Mario! Mario! Shh, shh. Somebody wants attention. Uh, pretty much we're going to make a white sauce and then we're going to add some mushrooms to it, which you do not have to do if you do not like mushrooms. Uh, we happen to like them a lot. We're actually going to use canned mushrooms, which I usually never use, but this recipe asks you to use the uh, liquid from the cans, which we thought was an interesting idea. It's like using mushroom soup, yeah. which is another thing you could do. Hello, Bran Shazam. Oh, hey, Brian. 
Oh, wow, you're modding on two different other streams. Wow, that is a lot of work, sir or man. <laughs> sir, Brandon. Oh, Brandon. Uh, where do you want to right. this chicken? Place it right here so we can check it out. Where did I put my thermometer? Uh -oh. It's usually in your sleeve. It is, but I took it out. Okay, so here's our chicken. It's looking very chicken-like. Looks very pretty. Yep. It looks quite done. It is quite done. It's a little overdone, actually. Unfortunately. That's, right. That's just that bubble right there. Yeah. I don't know. Why'd you do that? <laughs> oh, here we're done with these, huh? Yeah. Shall I just throw these away? Don't look, we're throwing these away. Oh, wait. We are not done. The chicken is not done. It is at uh, 140. 140. So we probably got another 10 minutes on it. Put it back in. Our rice is done. Our rice is done. <laughs> and our rice we'll be using for five different meals. You can always sub rice for potatoes too. Just 10, you think? Yeah, I think 10 minutes will do it. It's on a pretty high temperature, right? Okay. Well, why don't I, I put it down to 350? Oh, okay. You want me to turn it back up? I just don't want to burn it. No, that's all right. It should be fine. Come here. Okay, so we have a whole, um, oh, thanks, the Starlight Flower. For the follow. Thanks for the follow. We have an entire uh, thing of rice cooker rice that we made earlier and it is uh, done. So we have our rice done. And then, um, oh, French guy. He has a thermometer. He never used it. <laughs> uh, okay. So what we're making is we're we're taking our chicken and we're gonna have some of that tonight for for dinner with rice. Are we having anything else? Yeah, salad. Oh, and salad. Salad and rice. And um, just so you guys know, this guy demands a lot of attention. He's our major d. He will be waiting on us to drop food on the floor. <laughs> right under our feet. Usually. Right under our feet. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so. <laughs> Mario, 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 I just picked you up. So, um... What time is it? He usually gets fed at a certain time. It is... None of my clocks are real. 3.55. Oh, okay. He should not be fed yet. So out of the chicken, we're going to make chicken roast on rice with chicken ta and tomorrow And another day, we'll have chicken tacos. And then the spaghetti sauce we made is for two meals. It's for spaghetti. spaghetti. And then for lasagna roll-ups, so the spaghetti sauce is for going on that. And with all of these items, you can have a vegetable that you choose to have, or you can have a salad. Show them the pre-cut up salad stuff you made. You can have a salad with all these trimmings that she has already pre-cut for the week. So we're going to have fancy salad for a while. Now, why do you have some of those um, big like that? What are you doing? Because... What are we going to do with those? Um, because all you do is... Um, tear them? Yeah, either tear them or if you want for like a pretty presentation, you can do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, um, and then we're having uh, chicken a la king we made out of that. the bag of chicken, remember? Yeah, we're using the bag chicken. And uh, then we're going to make beef in the same sauce for another night. And you can add different things to all of these dishes. You can add like, um, uh, we're going to add some frozen peas to some of it, probably. Um, Mario, no. And also you can have it, if you don't like rice or want rice every day, I don't know how we ended up with having rice so often, 
Ruby rice and some it's, pasta. It's cheap. And <laughs> well, we had it. Yeah, and, it's cheap and we had it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, did you have another shot to my pan? I thought you did. And then we are, um, yeah, I have lots. You do. You see it under there? Yeah. I have that other um, colored pan with the glass lid. The glass pan? Yeah, under, no, under the stove. I mean, yeah, under the stove. The round one, the one with the long hair. Oh, well, we need to saute. We need to saute. Oh, here it is. We're making the sauce for the chicken a la king and for the, um, oh, okay. for right. the SOS. Oh. So, anyway, instead of rice, you can have uh, potatoes or whatever else you want. So, oh, you didn't want to use nonstick? I, I needed more open because it's not going to saute, otherwise it'll just steam the food. All right. So now we're gonna gonna make the sauce for those two things, and then we're pretty much done after that. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You want the frozen chicken? Yes. All right. For this uh, chicken a la king, um, do do. I'm trying to find it because it. It's from Felga, and uh, Mario, no. Felga wanted us to make it. Yeah. And it's very similar to what we would have done anyway with just a few different differences, that being the canned mushrooms and saw and uh, juice from that. Yeah. So I'm going to go into my Discord right now on my cell phone. And find it really quick. Sorry, guys, it's taking a little bit longer than I wanted to. <laughs> I could do a dance. <laughs> I could dance while I'm doing it. There you go, do, do that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what was I getting? Oh, the chicken. So I don't know if you're going to want to use all of this chicken since it's for all four of us, or um, this is almost two pounds of chicken. Yeah. So, I don't know. You may decide. Oh, great. Now my phone froze. That's awesome. Really? You, why don't you look on your um, tablet? Because then I would lose the chat. <laughs> I lose the chat. Just open yes, up I the window. window. No, it doesn't work. We'll back. get it back. It, no. <laughs> <coughs> oh, you watched Holiday Baking Championship? Oh, she got eliminated for her presentation, but she wowed the judges. You don't have to. Find your recipe, please. I found it already. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> but she wowed the judges with flavor. Why don't you read out the recipe, the, the ingredients? Okay. For chicken olive king, uh, the recipe is 10 ounce can of mushroom pieces with liquid, uh, one and quarter cup green pepper, which we have some orange pepper in there. That's fine. That's probably about two cups, but it's okay. Uh, uh, one and a quarter cup margarine or butter. What? <laughs> One and a quarter cup of butter? You sure you read that right? Um, Felga did say that, uh, 
that it's metric and that he would have to change it to imperial. Oh, I, I would say a quarter cup. Yeah, I would say a quarter cup of <laughs> butter at the most. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't read that correctly the first time. <laughs> and uh, probably a quarter cup of flour because you want to keep your ratio for your roux, which is what this is going to be used for, 50-50. Uh, so you want quarter cup of flour, quarter cup of butter. Felga just logged in. All right. Hey, Felga. So <laughs> yeah. tell Felga about the one and a quarter cup of butter. So the recipe says uh, one and a quarter cup of butter. Uh, I think that's, like, way too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is way too much, yeah. <laughs> um, and then there's also salt, pepper, three-fourths three cup milk. And three and one eighth cup of chicken broth. Three and three fourths cup of milk. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of sauce. Yeah, but that's okay. That's We're okay. gonna make enough of it for two things. Yeah. So. We're gonna be using it for two things, so that's okay. Hey, legendary Zeke room. Hey, hi Zach. How you doing? Butter. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, I put it all in the fridge. Silly me. Silly you. <laughs> I don't have the book, Felga says. <laughs> well, we're going to fake it. Just so fake it till you make it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we are definitely not going to use one and a quarter cups of butter, though. Yeah. <laughs> How much flour does it say to use? It says to use one and a quarter cups, so equal. Oh. 10 ounce can of measurements. Felga says the measurements are right. Really? Oh, that can't be. He copied it. He or she copied it from the book. Serious? His mo mom's cookbook. Oh. Well, okay. that's a lot of butter. I don't know. It, it would need to be a lot of a lot of room for that much uh, milk. Yeah, but not that much. We can get, we can, I would try just, I would try so half a cup. This is a half a gallon of, of total product altogether. So Those are the three, the, yeah. the milk, yeah. The milk and the milk. I would try half a cup of flour and butter. We can always add more. We can okay. always make more roux and add it. Yeah. Right? So I would use uh, a six whole stick portions. of butter. Uh, you think it's enough for six portions? She's, a she's right behind you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, we're going to try a stick of butter, because otherwise we'd have to use two and a half sticks of butter, and that's an awful lot. So we're just going to use one stick of butter and um, a half a cup of flour and try that. That really should do it. And we like butter. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> we love butter. You know, that might actually be enough for... Um, huh. The butter? What? You didn't get the flour. Hold, hold on, I'm going to get the... Oh, you got, got it. You got it. I got this. Do you need a measure? Here's a half cup. Right there. Where is your whisk? Here it is. Oh, do you have one? No. Do you want a wire one? No. I don't like scraping metal. Yeah. Not either. The pan right there. All right. This is pretty thick, though. That is so funny. <laughs> That's a lot of I butter. I forgot you were supposed to... I didn't follow the recipe. <laughs> What'd you do? What are you supposed to do? Um, I believe you're supposed to saute the veggies first and then add the, the roux to the pan. And it'll work fine either way. It will. You can just take that out and then saute the vegetables. Okay? Okay. Put that in a bowl. Here. I'll get you one. There you are. Okay. Oh, family of six to seven. 
Okay. That's kind of what we're doing. Oh, the recipe is for eight plus. Okay. Well, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's that's what we're doing. So we probably really should follow this recipe. Um, I'd rather try a little less. Okay. If you wouldn't mind. Okay. Just for our health reasons, because we're trying not to eat that much of, you know. Yeah, you're supposed to cook and stir the mushrooms and the, the green pepper and the butter for five. Okay. <coughs> Whoops. Kind of reversed it there a little bit, Valga. <laughs> I jumped to conclusions. So we're gonna, we're just gonna um, take the roux out with a spatula, which is right behind you. And we're gonna put it into this bowl that's on the side. It's a little hot. I need a hot, hot holders. Yeah, right here. All right. Okay. Oh. So we're kind of over there. <laughs> Not really. Um, I'll turn it to this one. It got very quiet in here. Yes, it There's did. a lot of concentration going on. Yes, I'm trying not to burn myself. Yeah. Roux is like extra hot. It's almost like a candy. Well, because, yeah, it's just a bunch of butter. Yeah. It's um, so... Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Okay, so here's your vegetables. Want to pour some olive oil in that pan? Yeah. Oh, I need olive oil. That doesn't have any. Well, we're running out of everything left and right. We are. Yeah. Just a wee bit. All right, so all that prep that we had done before, Right in the pan. Did you say you wanted to use peas too? Or no? Huh? What? Did you say you wanted to use peas? Um, not in this one. Not in this one? Okay. More with the meat, maybe. Phil here says, I eat two cups of rice with a soup bowl of full of sauce. Nom, nom, nom. Yum. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. It does. Salt. Pepper. <clears throat> We're going to add some pepper. Salt. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't like this salt container. It doesn't always come out. It doesn't pour well. No, it doesn't. Oh, I need to turn you back to the stove. Oh, I didn't know. Are we working over there now? Yeah, we are. I never know what we're doing. <laughs> it's hard to keep up. Uh uh. Dog. Hey. Outside. <sighs> I'll go get them. Okay. I have to make my way past everything. A little bit more all of Mario. Why are you barking? Do you even know why you're barking? Oh, no. It's probably the poultry guys that's making him bark. There we go. I like to see a little bit of a shine on the vegetables when you're sauteing. All right. Yeah, there is a stove camera. Is it? Is it on there? Yeah. Hi, Mr. Prana. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, Mr. Prana, about the recipes. Uh, we don't really. One of them is from Felga, so um, I don't know how we would put it on there. But it's in my Discord. Uh, the recipe for the chicken a la king. We also did a roasted chicken, which I don't have a recipe for, but I did that because I know how to do it. Um, I need to check this guy's temperature. 
Check his temperature. Yeah. Dollar shell. Well, <laughs> while we are waiting, lady. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yes, we are at 165. All right. So our chicken is ready to go. So I am doing uh, five or seven different recipes all at once uh, for uh, a week's worth of food. See if you guys can uh, check that out. And doing all the prep all together. Cosmic Dragon Dragoon is here. Hello, Cosmic Dragoon. All right. So our stuff sauteing. Sauté, sauté, sauté. Then, once this is done sauteing, we're going to add the chicken, if I remember correctly. I think I do. We're going to add the, we're going to remove the veggies and then add the chicken in, because we already cooked the roux, because I kind of reversed things. Um, so I'm going to read out the recipe. It'll be better for me and better for you guys, too. Uh, cook and stir mushrooms and, oh, the mushrooms. <laughs> Fail. Chef fail. We're really not that used to reading recipes yeah. and cooking. We're more used to just cooking. Felga, <laughs> we can try to put this recipe up as well. I may not have time to work on it till later tonight, but Jessica, you could put it up on Discord. Yeah. So, Felda, uh, or Felda, I have a Discord too. Uh, Hannah, could you put the Discord command up? You can just go right there and you can post it yourself. There and you go. That would be really awesome if you did that. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. That would be so helpful. So, the best thing when you're following a recipe that you don't really know too much about is to read the whole thing before you start. Yeah. Don't, don't assume things because you know traditional ways of doing things or yeah. things of that such nature. <laughs> so did you read it so you know what to do? Um, I didn't completely read it because I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to put the mushrooms in there. Okay, continue reading it. Okay. So cook and stir mushrooms and green pepper in margarine or butter over medium heat five minutes. You remove and then you uh, then you make the roux and then you uh, where does the chicken come in? Is it chicken raw or is it? This is raw chicken. Okay. Stir in chicken and heat through. Oh. Okay, so you don't cook the chicken before you drop it in there. Our chicken happens to be frozen, though. And so, raw. And raw. Well, I think I think this recipe is raw, too. It's just like a stew, kind of. Oh, okay. Um, All right, it'll work. It'll work? Yeah, you okay. don't need your thoughts. Okay. So, so. All right. We are sauteing our mushrooms and our onion and our green and orange bell pepper. They do suggest uh, sauteing the chicken first before you mix it up with stuff. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Okay. Um, removing the that. vegetables and then sauteing the chicken. Then adding everything together and... Oh, you add the roux after? Yeah. In there? Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Yep. You put the mushrooms in there? Yeah, mushrooms are in there. Okay. These happen to be shiitake mushrooms, which are kind of Asian. Kind of. Kind of. Here, I'm going to give you a bowl to put all that in. Ow. Oh, well, that salt in it. Ow. Yeah. This is crazy over here. Here. <laughs> Here's a bowl. All right. For when you're done. All right. <laughs> Who's whistling? 
Uh, it could be you. Oh, it could be me. Could be me. Could be you. Thank you, Hannah, for putting that up. It's you. Well, I do you think I should turn off the rice? It's just on uh, warm. Yeah, I think it's okay to turn it off. Besides, we're going to need to cool it down for future uses anyway. Well, we're going to have some tonight, though. Yeah. That's all I'm thinking. Do we have to have any white wine? I don't know. I'll go look. It's okay. The recipe doesn't call for it. But we put it in everything. It's our motto. <laughs> if you have wine, use it. That's our motto. We have yep. this one that you put plastic wrap on. Oh, thanks for the hosting, Famous Matt. I missed that. Um, hi, Color W0. <laughs> and hello, Fox and TV. Fox and TV. Oh, okay. That's cool. So, um, Felga's mom used to do home care, and she got it out of a cookbook from one of her clients. Uh, oh. And it's a Canadian cookbook. Oh, wow. Awesome. Neat. We'll keep it Canadian, then. Who's that? We'll keep it Canadian? Then how are we going to do By that? By adding Pinot Grigio. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good one, Doug. We'll keep it Canadian. Well, we do live three hours away. Yeah, we do live three hours away from Canada. Yeah. You actually might hear that in our accents a little bit. <laughs> our our uh, pretend Canadian accent. We live so close, we feel that it's okay to say A once in a while. Right, Jeff? Well, we certainly say sorry a lot. Yeah, <laughs> we do. All right, and that wine is going to cook right out. Well, only 30% of alcohol actually cooks out when you're um, cooking an alcohol, any alcohol. Yeah, that is what you have said. Yep. I have been telling people the wrong thing for years. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart, drop a follow. I'll love you forever. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Working Chef too. <sighs> Jabaco, I am currently on the uh, creative channel, which doesn't necessarily have to be about any kind of gaming whatsoever. It is about food. Glorious food. Alright, now it's starting to caramelize like I wanted it to. And turn it off the heat. Ooh, why did it pop at me? Well, I don't know. Pop, drop, and lock it. I think I'm going to need your help again. Oh, I hate that part. Remember to go over and not under. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because that was weird. I know. Uh, well, no, maybe I can handle it. I might be able to handle it. Okay. I got this. All right. Don't drop anything. Oh, you got it. That's a little bit of a lighter pan, I think. Yeah. Some of my other pans are ridiculous. <laughs> oh, French guy says, Call of Duty Black Ops Kitchen. Chicken. <laughs> yeah. Kitchen. yeah. Uh, let's see. We're, we're making uh, Red Dead Redemption, Redemption Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> And Call of Duty Black Ops Chicken. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What could be? Uh, lasagna roll-ups. And we're we're doing. Uh, oh, I don't know what to do for roll-ups. How about the chicken in the sauce? <sighs> Saucy chicken. Saucy chicken. Uh, <laughs> let's see. There's Call of Duty Fallout. We're Fall doing a uh, Fallout lasagna roll-ups, <laughs> and uh, 
Tetris beef and creamy sauce. <laughs> Tetris. There we go. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Oh. All right, so we're going to turn the heat back on, and we're going to add our chicken, or re-add our chicken. No, we're going to add, add our chicken. We're adding it right now. Right. I put a little oil in the bottom of that pan. It's right. not a non-sticky one. I'm going to put a smidge bit of oil, just enough to coat the bottom. Oh, that was a sort uh, of a little more than a smidge, but not too horrible. It's not too horrible. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Madden Saute Football 16. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Farmville. Fox and TV says lasagna, lasagna never changes. <laughs> Jeff at Troll says and Farmville. <laughs> All right. How much do you think? Oh, it says to or like five chicken breasts, so it would be the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, he, he was, uh, start out. I see. Thanks, Hannah. <laughs> so as you can see, we have just a bag of chicken. Yep. Sometimes that's just okay. That's the way I cook. <laughs> I don't do this roasting whole chicken things and taking chicken off bones and all that. Chef really enjoys that. Not me so much. <laughs> oh, look at this chicken. Oh, spinach and salmon with lasagna. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, yeah. That would be a good lasagna. <laughs> or you could have a vegetarian lasagna with some spinach and salmon on the side, too. Thank you for the follow. We don't know who it is because I don't have it on the right screen. <sighs> After I fix my monitor and I can see, <laughs> I will um, fix all that. Well, thank you for the follow. Um, we... Um, we're still new stream, so we're get, getting things kind of figured out still. Well, we switched it over to Windows on my Mac, and I installed Windows 10, and it took me two days, by the way, to install it due to unforeseen and unexplained events. And um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I finally found the answers on Microsoft here and there and got it to work, but... Um, I, since I'm at the chicken ate, but well. Since I didn't <laughs> finish it till like today at 11 a.m., <laughs> I didn't have time to get everything working, and my monitor with Windows 10 is really dark. So now I have to figure out what display uh, driver I have to install to make it work correctly. So I, that may require talking to Microsoft directly. I don't know yet. So I just can't see anything on my monitor to in order to fix anything. So so that's okay. It's a long story. Yeah, it is a long story. Well, but uh, I had time. Long. You were busy. No, I was about to say things, but but yeah. Oh, um, you're you're being a brat. <laughs> that's what you are. All right, and I can say that because I'm your mother. <laughs> hi, right. hi, Devil Bacart. D Devil Devil Bacart, maybe. Um, Devil Bacart. Oh. Devil Baca Art. What? I'm stream actually on your stream? What does that mean? I don't know. I'm French cosplayer. A lot of French here. <laughs> yes, there is a lot of French people. <laughs> I am a streamer and I'm stream actually on your stream. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. What? That was a. That wasn't a follow. Oh, it was a that host. Was a host. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for hosting. <laughs> nice. All right. So, and uh, to answer your question, uh, color, I did indeed put. Uh, 
frozen chicken into the pan. It is more than okay to use frozen chicken if you are uh, uh, out of time. <laughs> And any any time actually any really, time if it's good quality yeah and this is really good quality chicken I think it's all natural and all kinds of good stuff yeah so and I, I to be it. honest most chicken that you get has been previously frozen at one point or time they just defrost it before they get it to you I think don't quote me all right but thanks French guy that's really sweet. All right. When you guys said a lot of French here, we like her. <laughs> <sighs> All right. It's getting cooked. All right. We're not going to want to cook it 110%, though. Because we're still going to cook it a bit with the sauce in it. Yeah. Well, this is a really simple thing to make, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but we are going to make the sauce first before we put the the chicken in it in. because we're gonna split the sauce uh, so that oh, we can right. yeah so we that we can save it for the beef and oh right and then <laughs> I almost forgot yeah <laughs> because we're doing two dishes at once with this one dish which is the chicken a la king that Belga was kind enough to give us the recipe for and um, the beef and creamy sauce, or SOS, as some people like to call it. I was in the military. It's called SOS. <laughs> Chef's mother does not like to call it that. Yeah, and we are trying to keep the string peachy, so I guess it's not a good thing to say. <laughs> Bravo Bacart Baca is uh, from Paris. Oh, thank you for coming. Okay. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart, drop a follow. I'll love you forever. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Working Chef Two. Oh look, should I be back on the stove again? Oh look what? All right, before I go to the stove, you can show the corgi again. This is my maitre d', our, our uh, channel mascot. This is Mario. He is a corgi, he and looks, he is adorable. He looks so annoyed. So annoyed. Mario! <laughs> All right. Always wash your hands after touching an animal. You don't want to get random bits in your food. Oh yes, the maitre d' would love the chicken. Absolutely love the chicken. The maitre d' would like the entire chicken. <laughs> yes, the maitre d' would probably. And would try to eat it as fast thing. as possible before we got it away from him. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. My dog is so delicate. She eats food really slowly and takes her time. And your dog just like is voracious. He's crazy about. No, I understand how food. hosting works, Devil. Uh, Devil. Devil Bacart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> His name is Mario. We've had him for about a year now, or uh, me and my husband have. All right, that's pretty much as cooked as we're gonna want to get that. Okay. I'm going to turn it off. To the stove. And we are going to. Ah. Spaghetti sauce, chicken olive king. We're going to put it in this. Okay. Sounds good. It's got kind of crowded over here for some reason. <laughs> I know. Some chaos happened. Chaos. And lots of chaos happened. And it was exploded. Uh, this kitchen has exploded. As <laughs> always. Well, we are making a week's worth of food. So we are, so there's that. It is kind of, kind of expected. <laughs> and we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. That was pretty. That was a pretty good mix of things I think we picked. Yeah. Because they're really simple. And and when you're when you are um, 
trying to like create a week's worth of meals. You want to uh, do meals that would could uh, run into the other meals for, and like I was talking about with the the chicken a la king. We're making the chicken a la king, but we're also doing the sauce for the um, for the the beef. The beef, right? And the beef is just going to consist of uh, oh, we forgot. You know what we forgot? What? <laughs> what did we forget now? We forgot to cook the meat. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And well, we'll show you how to make the sauce, and then we'll tell you about how to have the meat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep our sauce for our meat, and then add the meat, and we're going to eat it. Yeah. It, it sort of goes against the purpose, but we'll explain. <laughs> as we do this, right? Because I don't want right. to get out beef now and redo a whole another thing. And no, we'll just we'll just talk about it. <laughs> uh. All right. So I'm adding the root back. We're creating our sauce right now. I'm about to turn on that heat. It is by no means going to be a smooth soft sauce with what with all the chicken bits in there. That's all right. So you put you put the chicken back in? No. Oh. No, we're we're making the sauce first. Oh, I see. Yeah. So we're gonna put the milk in uh, to the sauce. Do you think it would be okay if the, the beef also had this stuff in it? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the vegetables? Sure. Yeah. Okay. We cut, you cut that for the beef and the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. When do we add that? Um, probably right after we start creating a little bit of the sauce, I would add it back. Because we don't want to... Uh, we want to not beat our vegetables to death. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow or host. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, the devil. Uh, oh, thank you for the not. follow. Thank you. Okay. So, oh, you got that. Do yeah. you have a measuring cup? I don't, I don't know guess. where anything is. No, please don't get us on this. No, no, no. This needs to be measured. Okay. Oh, you got it. Okay. I got it. So this requires how many? Three and three and a half cups of milk, approximately? I think so. So we're going to put it in one cup of milk at a time. And then stir it up. And then stir it. I'm going to look at the recipe again, just to be sure. Da -da, da -da. Okay. Is three and three quarters milk. Okay. Nice. Nice color. Nice not, and not lumpy. Right? Well, it's a little lumpy, but that's probably because a little bit of chicken bits. Yeah, in that's there. all. Got it, Phil. Got. It. Well, we added white white wine, not red wine. Yeah. So it'll still say white. So that was one cup. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's two cups. And I'm getting the milk everywhere. That's awesome. Do, 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 do. Pork, pork. <laughs> See, I think that's going to be plenty thick. Don't you? With the one stick of butter? Maybe. All right, and I have had my stock simmering for a long time now. Um, probably about two hours now. I'm guessing. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hey, New Age Films! Hey, New Age Films! Welcome back! We are doing a week's worth of meals all at once. Because <laughs> we're crazy. <laughs> Well, it's really pretty easy to do, and we just thought we'd show everybody how to do it. It's something I always mean to do. Yeah, and um, something you can do to help uh, create a week's worth of meal would be to utilize a calendar. Write down, like, uh, or, or you can do it in Excel. Uh, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then you can have uh, protein, starch, vegetable, and then have those all barred out. And you can uh, plan it that way. And it's always good to plan to, to have your meals kind of utilizing roughly the same ingredients, but for a completely different dish. For instance, this chicken a la king, we're also going to be using it for the sauce. The sauce for uh, the sauce, not the chicken a la king. <laughs> we're going to be using the sauce for the um, ground beef. The ground beef uh, for uh, creamy ground beef. Creamy ground beef on rice. On rice. <laughs> and we're, we're pretty much uh, our vegetable, we're kind of cheating. <laughs> We're just oh. going to use straight up uh, salad. Are you supposed to add chicken broth to that too? Eventually, yeah. Oh. It's not, I don't think Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt else. you. I just wanted to make sure you didn't forget. Yeah. Okay. So that was two cups. And it's starting to get kind of thin. Two cups of what? Milk. Are, that's all? Yeah. Oh. Or, guys, was that two cups or three cups? I think it was three, Jess. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. Let me know in chat. I'll Anybody count. counting? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Chef wasn't. Ay, ay, ay. Whoops. No, let me look at I it. I think it's plenty milk, though. I think we're good. Now we're just going to use the chicken stock. Because now we're going to put chicken stock in it, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is really saucy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a, a really nice consistency now, but you're right. Once we put that in... Uh, as I said, we can always add more, and we can make a slurry. A slurry! A slurry. A slurry! <laughs> Measuring. Measuring. Oh, you're putting, oh, okay. How much of the chicken stock goes in there? Um, numbers. Uh -huh. That's one. Felga says I seen two. Okay. Cups. I think we did three, though. Um... We'll have to go back in our stream and count. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a uh, three and one eighth cup of chicken broth. Oh wow! Yeah, the ratio. I see. The ratio, like I said, the ratio for the the roux was completely correct for this amount. You're right. Okay. I'm okay. sorry, Philga's mother. I see how why you needed so much roux. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll do a slurry. <laughs> to cut down on the butter. Yeah. So what we'll do to thicken this is we'll take some of the sauce and add it to a little bit of flour and whisk it together and um, make a bit of a slurry out of it, which is a consistency of a really thick um, cream at that point. And then we'll pour it back in and it'll thicken it, just yeah. like a roux would. You guys see how thin that is? Yeah. I'm sure it is. Super thin. It's like almost like water. I didn't realize it was going to be that saucy. Yeah. Okay. Well, chicken a la king is mostly sauce. I know. But I didn't realize it was going to have that. I, I didn't see the recipe. So. Oh, okay. I didn't know. All right. So we're going to do that slurry thing that my mom was saying. I'm going to take some... Oh no, it's not spicy at all. Yeah, no, there's no spice in it. There's no spice in it. There should no. Uh, the chicken stock. We did not need to add any more salt. We might need to add some pepper. But the chicken stock and uh, and the mushroom juice from the canned mushroom um, has plenty of salt in it. 
So we probably will not need to add any more salt. We could add some Old Bay or something. Yeah. We like to use Old Bay spice a lot. Old Bay and Johnny's. Mm -hmm. You guys see that? How thick it got? Oh, yeah. can they see that? Uh, yes, they can see it. I was looking at the wrong picture. Again, as always. <laughs> <sighs> All right. We're going to just whisk that in. Yeah, whisk, whisk it for sure. Whisk it. Whisk, whisk it good. good. <laughs> that camera is very bright there. Yeah, I that light. I don't understand why. So it's really hard to make out detail in a white bowl. We should use a different color bowl, I think. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Did it help? A little bit. It's oh, not as liquidy. Maybe you didn't make enough. I don't think I made enough. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, here we go again. Here More we go again. slurry. <laughs> Just a second. Chef has to make more slurry. Now, Sorry. if they had followed the recipe, it would have been perfect. It Sorry, Felga's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I apologize profusely. I just didn't want to use so much butter. Not that butter's bad. Again, love butter. <laughs> yeah. It's just that we've been using a lot of butter. We've been, oh my, yes. All right, you see how thick that is? Well, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't that thick last time, huh? No, it was not. Okay. All right. Stir it quick. Whisk it. Whisk it good. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> now, when you've added a slurry, you want to let it cook for at least 10 minutes to get rid of that floury taste. Yeah, this is good. But we're going to add the chicken and vegetables back in anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Well, we're going to separate it, remember? Oh, yeah. I know. I haven't forgotten that. We're going to add the vegetables. Yeah, we're going to add the vegetables as soon as this is done. Yeah. Oh, you added more? Yep. Did it need it? Yep. Oh, it was getting too thick now? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that is the danger of making your own slurries and adding it and trying it and sometimes you can just end up with a big vat of flour. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't usually happen that way. But it, it's tricky. It's a little tricky. Felga says this is from a local cookbook. Where Where is that, Felga? Canada. Oh, in Canada. Yep. What part of Canada do you live in? Oh, New Brunswick. Is that on the eastern side of Canada? Hmm. I don't know. I'm asking Felga, not oh. you. <laughs> I know you don't know. I don't know either. We, my whole family failed geography, so <laughs> we're very bad at it. I go lots of places, but I'm terrible at knowing where things are except for the places I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's good. All right, we're going to let that cook down for a bit, and we're going to finish reading the rest of the recipe. Always, always, always read a recipe thoroughly um, and through before you start it. Oh, yeah. Um, somebody keeps asking. I can't read who it is. Uh, color? No, Hunter. Oh, okay. JW. The Hunter keeps asking where you went to school. Oh, I went to uh, Renton Tech uh, Culinary School in uh, Washington. It's a technical college. In Renton? In Renton. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then um, I also did what's called a Coast Guard A School. Uh, I was in the military for a while, and I did that for, like, culinary management. That was, like, the, the first training I had. But honestly, at the time, uh, they were transitioning between, uh, uh, what do they call that? They are transitioning between how they were doing it and what they were actually teaching. So I didn't get the best education. So later on, like about five years later, I ended up going into uh, 
Renton Technical College and getting an education there. Which was a pretty darn good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zoinster56 says, I'm hungry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> we have made a lot of dishes and ate nothing. <laughs> We're, we're, we we're going to be eating this chicken. Nothing. We will be eating that chicken. We're going to eat this chicken so much. Along with Papa Chef. Yeah. We will be having salad, chicken, and rice. With maybe some sauce. <laughs> from this sauce. We'll take a little of that. I would be... Oh. Because I like sauce. I don't know. Yeah, we are in Washington State. We're in near Seattle. New Age Films. Are you here in Washington State as well? Yeah. Oh yeah, Felda. We have Le Cordon, Cordon Blues here too. She was going to go there uh, at this school, but at the time, the Cordon Bleu did not have an actual certificate they could award her, or an AA degree. And she wanted both of those things. And so... Um, that is, and also it costs a whole lot more money. Yeah, and the military would only pay about 25% from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and she used her GI degree, or her GI bill, mm -hmm. to be able to go to school. Post 9 11 GI bill. It's the best thing that ever happened. Lifesaver. Yeah. I don't know where I would be without it. Well, we would have made it happen somehow. Mm -hmm. But it would have been hard. Thousands and thousands and thousands of debt. Dollars yeah. of debt. That's where I would be. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I added the vegetables back in. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, it looks very nice. All those colors. Yeah. It was kind of cool to add the the orange uh, bell pepper as well. It gives it a nice color contrast. Oh, you're in Walla Walla. New Age Films is in Walla oh, cool. Walla. We know where that is. Yeah, it's about four-ish hours away. That's where we get all of our onions from. That's right. <laughs> you know, the sweet onions. <laughs> walla Walla sweet onions. Mm. Is it good? Mm. That mm -hmm. doesn't need anything else? It, it might need some Old Bay. It does need a little bit more depth of flavor, I think. Uh, where did Old Bay go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Felga says, uh, Mom was wondering if it's possible to replace the canned mushroom with fresh mushrooms because you do need the liquid from the canned mushrooms. What could you do? And I think, honestly, if you saute the mushrooms, the fresh mushrooms, they make their own liquid. Yeah, they do make their own liquid. And you use that liquid from there, I think you'd be fine. Or you could even use dried mushrooms and reconstitute them in water. So you so you make some uh, some pretty hot hot water hot, <laughs> a pretty derp hot water and then you put your your dried uh, mushrooms in it and then you uh, set it off to the side or place it in the in the fridge and let it soak up and you can get uh, mushroom uh, juice that way too. I've I've used that. Uh, when I was doing um, chicken marsala. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, I do think you could just take your fresh mushrooms because they make their own juice for sure and saute them in a little oil or butter, and I think that would be just fine. Because they add, the reason they have you keep the mushroom juice is simply for the taste, don't you think? Yeah. It has nothing to do with adding more liquid to it. I think it's just for the taste. Yeah. All right, we're going to give this guy another taste. We just added some uh, Old Bay, maybe about uh, a teaspoon, I, I would say. Pepper. Oh, <laughs> for Pete's sake. <laughs> Whenever you're cooking, always, always, always taste your food at each stage, unless it's like dangerous to taste it, like uh, French, French toast. If you were to taste the batter, oh, oh, if you get like some salmonella poisoning. I see. I've been eating raw eggs all my life, and I'm fine. 
are you though? <laughs> oh, I'm as good as I get. <laughs> So this got nice and thick, and it's just perfect for pouring over rice. All right, perfect. Okay, so I think now we can explain what we're going to do with it instead of actually doing it, because we need to take half of that and put it in another container. I'm just going to put it in that bowl over there. Oh, yes, Felga, she added pepper. I did add pepper. And she added some uh, Old Bay as well. Old Bay spice as well. Old Bay is a great spice. We add it to most everything. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. All right. And salt. We didn't, uh, did you add salt? I don't think you put salt in it, right? No, I did not because um, mm -hmm. of the salt from the chicken Butter. stock and the fact that um, the mushrooms themselves were packed in salt water. Oh, and we had salted butter. Yeah. So we, we did add salt in a way. Yeah. <laughs> in a roundabout way. In a roundabout way. Yeah. So we are going to enjoy this. So I'm taking about half of it out. And uh, we're going to utilize this for um, our beef dish. Our beef dish, which, what did we say that day was? Oh, it doesn't matter what day. On Sunday. <laughs> it's whatever day we pick. You're so cute. <laughs> All right. Is that enough that you took out for the beef? I think so. Okay. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to um, cook some ground beef and just add, we're about a pound of ground beef and add it to that and have it with rice and a salad and that will be a dinner for four. Yeah. That's it. All right. Now, if you let this cook for like probably about 10 minutes longer, you might have to add some more chicken stock or uh, milk to it uh, because it probably will be, be getting thicker, a little too thick perhaps. Yeah, so now, I don't know why, but I always use salted butter because I don't know. I always do. I like the taste of salt in my butter. <laughs> I like to use unsalted because that way I have more control of, over how much salt I'm actually putting in my dish. I know. True chefs like to use unsalted butter, but I, I prefer the salt. <laughs> I like my salted butter on toast or whatever cooked with all that. Yeah. And then I just don't add salt to things. Honestly. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart, drop a follow. I'll love you forever. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Working Chef 2. And uh, this is what we're doing today. Oh, wait, they can't see that. Can you go back to the main screen? Oh. No. Okay. So this is what... Um, our plan was today chicken roasted on rice we're basically making all of these dishes but we're gonna I'm a little too close <laughs> but we're going to uh, like set aside oh, yeah, stuff that. for later you can't read it at all uh-uh no 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 no. No. Well, I can't tell now. I can't see it. Remember? No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't see on the screen because I have to adjust my... No. You can't read it. All right. No. And thanks, Anna, for putting up that YouTube link. Oh, you know what? Really close up, you can read it. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. So this is how I planned everything out. You might have to take a screenshot to catch it because I'm not going to hold the paper for like 10 minutes. <laughs> but um, we're, we make seven dishes and we, uh, as you can tell, we combine some of the dishes. We're separating the stuff that we're going to be using for our ooh, beef gravy stuff. Uh, I would turn that off if I were you. No, I'm turning it low. I was able to read a bit of it. Taste <laughs> New Age Films. You know what? After we're done, we will find a way to put it up on uh, Discord. Okay, Jess? Yeah. Or or we could like take a, a photo oh, a snapshot. of it. A snapshot. 
and like I, oh here yeah uh I can't see on my screen I can see it do you want to do stuff over here for a minute okay but then we have to get it there yeah I know how to do that you do yeah okay how how are we gonna get it there just uh, send it to uh, oh okay I see what you're saying yeah yeah yeah, yeah. All right, of course. Wait, come back. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah, it came out perfect. Good. All right, so we're going to have the um, basically my POA or plan of action uh, on the screen shortly. Okay, go ahead. I'll. Uh Take care of this. Okay. We're going to have it there any second now. <laughs> any minute now. Indeed. Well, that looks so good. I love the color. It's sort of like a creamy brown, a tan color. It's really pretty. I forgot we were on, uh, looks like mushroom soup. On what? Oh, on the uh, X split? Windows. Windows? What's the problem? Just go to Hotmail or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. I shall try this. Let you know how it is. Did you send it to me or did you send I didn't send it anywhere. Oh, it's just sitting there. You have to send it. Okay. Hi, music girl. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Welcome back. That is quite delicious. All right. I'm going to turn this off, Jess. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I don't want it to burn. And then we have our, our creamy sauce for our beef. That, that's enough, yeah. That'll be great. We can just put a lid on that. Put it in the refrigerator. And then... I thought I would explain that the other things we're going to have is we're going to make a, um, out of the chicken, we're going to make tacos out of that, out of what we don't eat from the chicken tonight. And um, so tomorrow we'll have chicken tacos. And we have, um, for making that, we have taco, so taco seasoning. Which camera am I in? The wide one. Oh, okay. I have taco seasoning. And we can add some of that to our chicken tomorrow. And you add a little water, I think, to it. And it makes a little sauce. And everything is little. I don't know why. <laughs> and uh, there we go. So the only things we didn't complete today are cooking the ground beef for the creamy sauce, which normally we would have done, but we forgot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We would have done that when we cooked the ground beef for the spaghetti sauce. Yeah, chicken taco hike. <laughs> we made the spaghetti sauce. We made the lasagna roll-ups. We made um uh we made spaghetti sauce from scratch because it's just too good not to. Buying the spaghetti sauce in a jar or a can just doesn't cut it when it's so easy to make it from scratch. You just open cans, put some meat of your choice in there. Put some spices, put the spaghetti sauce mix that I, I buy from Costco in there. And it's just really, really good. We add some wine. And um, we didn't put any oil in the spaghetti sauce. It was not cooked in oil of any kind. So it's a little better for you than normal. Oops. Oops. <laughs> what? It captured the desktop. It's supposed to... I don't know how I do that. How you do what? Hold on. No, it's okay. I got it. Oh, you just do media. Oh, media? Yeah, media. Okay. And it'll put in, and you just pick the picture. If you have it on the drive, do you have the picture on the drive? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just pick the picture. So, let's see what else did we do. Uh, oh, the other thing we didn't do was we didn't do the boneless beef chuck, uh, which all, all that is, is it's going to take a, put it in a slow cooker, put sauce on it. So that's really something you can do on that day. That's really super easy. Um, we were going to do it ahead of time and do it today so we could show how you could have everything prepared. Because the idea that we thought we were trying to do and that we were trying to do 
is to show how you can prepare meals for the whole week and then not have any pots and pans to wash pretty much the rest of the week. And you can eat healthy all week. And it took us less than three hours to do this. So it would have taken us even less time, uh, and even just one of us by ourselves, if we weren't trying to talk over chat and stopping yeah. and all that. It's sideways, Mom. What is sideways? <laughs> the, the, um, the picture? The picture. Oh, poo. <laughs> Why is that? I don't Try right-clicking on it. You have to use the mouse. You can't. Okay. Here. Well, you, here. <laughs> you get back over here, and I'll do it. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 I see. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well hold it up. <laughs> it is sideways, Jess. I can fix that, I think. All right. I don't know. I I think it would be easier to do a uh, uh, browser capture. And my, oh, here I got it. You got it. I got it. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Here it is. Nom nom nom. Ta da! <laughs> Can you guys read that? I like I like how it has yeah how it has a thumb there. That's great. It's my thumb. Yeah, that's it's great. my beautiful what? thumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Woo! Yes, I, I did meet the woman that plays River Song off of Doctor Who. Uh, her name is Alex Kingston. And, uh, and she, was, she was really awesome. She was more excited to see me than I was to see her, oddly enough. <laughs> Because I was dressed as Linguiti from Ratatouille. <laughs> I was cosplay cosplaying as Linguiti. She, had, she was so excited. She asked to take your picture, didn't she? Yeah. She had a picture with yours? She, she got a couple pictures for herself. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> That's awesome. Super awesome. Yeah. That was a great costume. I, I have it as my background on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and it always makes me laugh. All right. So are we about done? She's coming back to Doctor Who at the end of the month. That's pretty cool. So um, we had done all this taco prep, uh, but really all of your veggies for tacos are going to be raw anyway. You don't you don't cook it unless you're doing it for like fajitas. Well, that's the whole idea of doing the prep. Yeah, though, is so that they don't have to cut them. On yeah, the so day they don't have to right? cut them tomorrow. So what do they have to do to make tacos tomorrow? <laughs> Take what's left over of this chicken. Tear it off, um, rip it into little bits, toss it with some taco seasoning, and there you go. Okay. Maybe cook it in a little bit of chicken stock uh, on the stove top to get that full infused flavor. Can you hand me my coffee over there? I left it way on the other side. Yeah, just a sec. When you get over there. This uh, stock is getting pretty low. Okay, so, um, uh, oh, thanks. oh, it's five o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to turn into a pumpkin. I have to go practice. All right, I have to practice well, my head off. I will, um, we'll do a presentation of the dish that I made for Monday. Well, I was going to tell you also, so finish explaining how to do the tacos. I said that you could take some taco seasoning and mix it with chicken that you're going to use, mm -hmm. right, that you right. tear off. And um, with the taco seasoning that I have, you actually add a little water to it and, you know, heat it up in a saucepan or something. And then you just take some uh, tortillas and heat them up however you like them, uh, whether it's on the stove or cold or however you eat them. And that's it for your tacos. Oh, and cheese. Shredded cheese. Oh, and you have your rice already, too. Oh, yeah. And you could use rice if you wanted. You could even add some spice to your rice. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of spice to your rice could you add there, Jess? Um, what I like to... No, that's before you cook it. Spanish rice. Oh, for Spanish rice, um, I would get um, this... Seasoning is called mendo, mendo, mendo. 
I can't say it, but it starts with an M and ends in a dough. <laughs> <laughs> Seasoning. Um, it, it has uh, Spanish uh, oregano, which actually does have a different flavor than, uh, than your uh, Italian oregano. Oh. Uh, okay. And I would, I would add uh, some tomatoes um, as well. Some fresh tomatoes, actually. Maybe or, not fresh. or you can add or a can of tomatoes. Or cans. I would do a can. And uh, toss them together. Add a little bit of the the juice from the uh, tomato mm -hmm. can and uh, toss that together. And then you've got Spanish rice. And again, that's something you can do ahead of time. You could do that as well in your week's, week's prep of food if you wanted. And also, I forgot to add like chicken broth instead of water to my rice when I cooked it, which I should have done. It would have given it more flavor. Oh, yeah. You can add a lot to your rice when you're going to cook it to give it flavor. Um, you can put garlic in it. Um, Jessica, Chef always puts lots of stuff in her rice. I, I don't because I'm always in a hurry and I just throw it in the pot. <laughs> Whenever I feel like I want like a herbalicious kind of flavor to my uh, rice rice or like a, a perfume if you will I would actually before cooking it I would add a, a bag of uh, peach blossom tea a tea bag and just have it off to the side kind of boiling with the water be careful about lighting it on fire though <laughs> okay is that for our salad those vegetables yeah these are for a salad Oh, she's back for the Christmas special. Awesome. Here you go. What? The, the episode is called The Husband of... Oh, that's right. He's not coming back. That one guy. I've already forgotten his name. Guys, tomorrow we will be coming back at 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, and we will be doing uh, what is it called again? Uh, creme brulee French toast. Creme brulee French toast, and we're going to start focusing more on the um, December type dishes. We are. Yeah. Oh. Because that's that's. All right. It's good. All right. It's good. Okay. <laughs> So are, are you on the screen for the... So if you like what you see, go ahead and click that heart, drop a follow. I'll love you forever. And you can follow, also follow me on Twitter, at WorkingChef2. Well, your chicken is only half on screen. Now it's oh, no, oh, no, now it's completely on screen. Okay. All right. Weird. What? <laughs> it's steamed on the bottom, so it's red. Okay. I should have flipped it over halfway. <laughs> well, that's how co chicken usually cooks, so people are used to that. It's all right. So what she's pulling out of there is simply the vegetables that she cooked it on top of. She threw some in the middle, too. It's not stuffing. We're not eating it. Yeah. It's and just to uh, flavor it. And there was a sprig of oregano and a couple sprigs of thyme. Well, that looked weird, that thing you just took out. <laughs> That was oregano. Oh, thank God. It looked like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> so our, uh, our, uh, oh, I don't think this is done. Oh, it has. Oh, yeah, it's done. But it's so red. Oh, yeah, it is done. It's done. So sometimes when you uh, actually accidentally, oh, oh, we're going to get juice everywhere. Mario's going to be happy. <laughs> I don't think Mom's going to be happy. No. Um, we're going to put this on here temporarily. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's going everywhere. This you're supposed to chill for at least eight hours and up to one day what before is? you cook it. Our um, creme brulee uh, French bread, French whatever it is. We can do that. Yeah. We'll make it tomorrow. We'll chill it and we'll bake it the next day and show everybody. Yeah. How's that? 
it'll be a really fast uh, stream tomorrow if we do that. Although you could also show them how to make the tacos. Yeah. Out of the leftover meat. Yeah. All right. So we could do that too. So we'll do both those things. Um, so the the French toast recipe, we'll put that up on uh, oops Discord ahead of time in case you want to make it along with us. And it requires to be refrigerated overnight or for eight hours. I've done it without refrigerating it that long, but it is better if you do it this way because what it happens is it turns into more of a, not a souffle, but what is that called when things get puffy? Uh, <laughs> souffle? A souffle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's called it a souffle. It turns into more of a souffle kind of a thing. Yeah, okay. It, but it's a lot like the big puffy pancake we made, except this has brown sugar in it. It has corn syrup. And it has a very little corn syrup, just two tablespoons. And it has um, round loaf challah bread, which is very hard for us to find here. So we probably will not be using that. We'll probably find something else that is um, nice and thick to use. And that's the only thing we'll have to buy for this. We need five eggs. We have lots of eggs. Lots of eggs. One and a half cups of half and half. Uh, ooh, we get to use some... Uh, Grand Marnier or some kind of liqueur that we might have. So we'll use whatever we have around. Nice. We're not going to buy grand, a teaspoon of Grand Marnier. <laughs> so guys, if you notice, I'm completely butchering this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mean that in the, in the true sense of that word. No? You do? Yeah, I do. I, I'm, oh. I'm butchering it. Why? It's a good idea to remove the uh, wishbone oh, first. Oh, you wanted to do that. I wouldn't I like did. You. I did. I should listen to me more often. <laughs> How would you have done that? You you just take the knife and you just kind of make little cuts until it kind of pops out. Oh. It looks like only one side came out, though. I wonder where the other side is. Oh, there it is. Credits would like a maitre d' Mario plush. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, maybe we'll do that in the future. Um, we do have a channel. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a channel artist. And uh, I don't she know if she might be able to make us one. I don't know if she makes plushies or not, but I will look into that for sure. I Even if you were joking, it's pretty adorable. That would be a cute little thing to put up on the website. And yeah. Stuff. yeah. So as you can see, I left way too much meat on there. It's been a long time since I've done. Uh... Did you use that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't use all of it. Oh. It has been a long time since I have uh, done a chicken, but you did the turkey chicken. so well. Yeah, well, the turkey was easier because I've done thousands of those. But aren't they the same? No, they are not. They're slightly different. They're it's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Kranit says he's not joking. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll see what we can do. I'm supposed to get that oyster out of there. I don't see how I'm going to do it. <sighs> oh dear, chef. This looks... I, I suggest everybody buy your pieces of chicken, deboned, frozen, fresh, whatever, and cook them. <laughs> this is too there hard. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we're using some of this for uh, tacos tomorrow. Yeah, luckily. <laughs> There we are. <laughs> Oy vey. Oh, guys. This is like a complete chef fail here. <laughs> we won't this, say anything. This is the first, I think, of a major chef fail. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell anybody. So, um, what we will, we, since we already took off all, all of our uh, meat, we're going to use this for the tacos. So, we're just going to rip it right off the carcass. Don't be afraid to get your hands in there. See, look at all that breast meat that was left on there. <laughs> Chef fail. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart. Drop a follow. I'll love you forever. 
And you can fo also follow me on Working Chef 2, at Working Chef 2, on Twitter. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Huh. I forgot to plug this directly into the internet. Oh. Oh, well. Well, that seems like it worked okay. It did drop. It's dropping 480 frames right now. Right now? Yeah. Oh, no. Maybe you should plug it in now. That's all right. 480 frames is a lot. Yeah. That's all right. The quality seems okay. So I'm just going to leave it at that for the moment. It's one of those things. It's sort of like... With how how many things do I really want to mess with? Not too many. <laughs> that's that's my take on it. So if you wanted to use uh, utilize the bones left over for the for stock, I have been sauteing or sauteing. I've been uh, simmering uh, stock water for a while, so it wouldn't actually be in our best interest to add this to it. What is that? Just because it it would uh, take longer, and you don't want your stock to overcook. You're not really supposed to cook a stock stock too long. All right, I have de chickenified the the carcass mostly. We'll okay. get that de chickenified. All right, we got all this meat right here, and we're probably also gonna have. I'm gonna sacrifice a uh a thigh. <laughs> that sounds weird. It does, doesn't it? It's like pull apart right now. <laughs> Boy, <babe. laughs> Yeah, this is it was mostly steamed on the other side, and that's the reason for the red color. A lot of people get turned off, though, by the red color of steamed chicken, so it's in your best interest to not steam it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. All right. Look at all this taco meat we got. So what meat are we having tonight? We're going to have our, uh, we got a chicken breast, and we got this thigh, and we're going to have the legs legs and stuff. Okay. All right, and I'm just going to put that right there because I'll deal with it later. Okay. Then we're going to put this into a different container. Okay. We should have gotten it. I meant for us to get the containers out, but I was so... Focused on my silly display here. <laughs> oh. All right. <clears throat> and we will use this tomorrow for our taco meat. All right. We might want to add a breast to it. Just oh, you mean more meat than yeah. what we have? Yeah. Okay. You know, it didn't look like a lot. I think it would have been, well, I think it was so expensive, this chicken, because you bought a fresh one, right? Yeah. It wasn't frozen? It was not frozen. Yeah. Normally, it would have been a lot cheaper if it had been frozen. All right. Oop. Oop. But I'm sure it's very good. Yeah, it better be for sixteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need uh, a paper towel. Where am I here? Oh, that's right. You're you're behind me or in front of me or I'm behind you. I don't know. All right. So tomorrow we'll be back tomorrow mm -hmm. at one p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, UTC eight, and we will be doing. Custard French toast. We're going to make it, show you how to make it ahead of time, but we can't cook it because it has to sit in the refrigerator for like eight hours. Yeah. So what we'll do, and we could cook it, but it won't be as right. Yeah. So what we'll awesome. do is we'll make it and we'll also show them how to make uh, the tacos. Okay. Which is really simple. Yeah. But we'll show you how to do it anyway just, just because we'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
But it'll be super fast. Yep. Alright, so. Loop, loop. This. Oh, Music Girl is here too. Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I oh, said okay. hi. Okay. Alright. Alright. We are still up, right? Uh huh. Okay, cool. So we're going to put our starch on first. You can either start with your veggies or your starch, whichever you prefer. Where did my... Oh, you opened the Outlook. Oh, I Give me a sec, girl. Me. Oh, you are getting rice. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, you have my rice? Oh, a spoon. <laughs> so she's getting some rice. Putting it on the plates. <laughs> I'm just trying not to have um, total silence. And uh, I prefer to have total silence when I'm plating. You do? Mm -hmm. Chef prefers total silence when she's plating. Yes, but the viewing audience might think we went dead or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're not in the picture. It's quiet. They're going to think we went to sleep. Is uh, one plate at least fully in there? Uh-huh. Okay. Both of them are almost fully in there. Okay. The one closest to the pan is completely in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to add a salad. Nah. Oh, what were you cooking, Bran? He returned for um, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Were you cooking for school, Bran? The chef failed. There we go. Again? Yeah. Again? Again. Okay. So look at that beautiful salad. It comes right out of the container like that. It's just perfect. And it's healthy salad. It's we do not eat iceberg lettuce because it has no vitamins that we know of in it. It's so. it doesn't have very many uh, redeeming qualities. qualities nutritionally, except for it has water. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose some fiber. I yeah. Know. Oh, your sister's getting boss nachos from Taco Bell. Awesome. Oh, Bran was experimenting. Oh. Because I literally have zero formal training, and next semester I will finally get my hands on cooking course. Oh, dear. Oh, nice. You haven't had any cooking courses yet? Didn't you have cooking courses from the very, very beginning? I did. Um, thank you for the follow. Thanks for the follow. We don't know who you are because we can't see it right now. Sorry. Okay. Oh. We will so have that fixed next stream, though. Yeah, we'll have it fixed by tonight. So uh, he made hot sausages and egg noodles and made a cream sauce. Sounds good. Nice. We made a cream sauce as well while you were gone, Bran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cream sauces are one of our specialties, apparently. Aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. We, we've been doing it a lot. We make a, a Roubaix sauce at least once a week, if not more. Did you use a roux to make your sauce, uh, Bren? <laughs> oh, you did put some sauce on it. Mm -hmm. Yummy. See? Another meal we get to use sauce for. Oh, you've never made a sauce. Oh my gosh, how did it work out? Cream sauces can be difficult, especially the first time you try. Did it work out all right? Did any of did anything we've done help you? <laughs> <laughs> and it was all off the top of his head. Oh dear. Oh no. So how did you make it? Yeah, I probably should have just pulled it on the bottom, but pulled what? Pulled the oh, sauce. Oh, pulled on the, the sauce. Ah, I like lots of sauce. <laughs> it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> it's not? No. Why not? It's just not. Oh. Looks pretty nice to me. Looks good on the camera. Oh yeah, it looks very nice. 
So there's some of our white sauce that we made, Bran, and um, ours has um, mushrooms in it. Oh, he simmered it. He used cream, cheese, cheese. So did you make an Alfredo sauce then? Oh, so you used or cream, Monterey? cheese, garlic herbs, and soy sauce and salt. You just simmered it to try and thicken it. Did oh. it work? It. You can do that. You can reduce a sauce, but reducing a cream sauce is kind of difficult. Yeah. Without making the cream all curdly and stuff. So did you actually put like shredded cheese in it? You didn't make a a basis for it, like a roux. Because that would be the way to do it in the future, is just take like a couple of tablespoons of flour with the same amount of butter and melt the butter and add the flour to it, whisk it in, and then you start adding slowly your, uh, your cream to it, and then you'll have a nice thick sauce. Oh, you used too much salt? Oh, bummer. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful of that one. Salt is a dangerous thing. It is. Because you can't you can't come back from too much salt. Yeah, you really can't. <laughs> no. The only way you can fix that is by adding more product. Oh, he did use butter. He just didn't do the flour. Yeah, probably. Did it get thick, though, Brian? Because the flour would have done that. And like I said, you don't need much for a small amount of sauce. When you cook, do you cook for your parents as well? <clears throat> oh, good. He said it worked out, though, because he didn't season the noodles or the sausages. Okay. Did you make the sausages from scratch? Or whatever you do. <laughs> well, that looks pretty, but now I'm going to have to cut those vegetables while I eat. Well, that's okay. <laughs> All right. You might as well make a plate up for your dad. He'll be home any minute when we're done here. Okay? Okay. Because you do it so pretty, I'll just throw it, throw it at him. <laughs> Here. Here. Eat that. Make it yourself. <laughs> I've been cooking all day. <laughs> all right. It there does look good, doesn't it? Uh, I can't see it that well from there. Should I put another big one? Yeah. Hey, guys. That's better, but your recipe's in the way, wait. <laughs> there. Or your list of what we did, I should say. Plan of action. Plan of action. All there right, go. there it is. So there you go. That is one of our week's worth of meals. And uh, it was, as you can see, it was all very, very simple stuff. We used about three pans. At the most, right? Yeah. Yeah, we used three pans to do all this. And we would have used less uh, Four. bowls. Four. Four? Where's yeah. the fourth one? This one. Oh, well, okay. It'd be every oh, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, right. We used three stovetop pans and one oven pan. And so it's a little bit of work to clean it up, but you only got to do it once. And that is the beauty of the whole idea. Is we have meals now for the whole week. Um, there are a couple of two other things that we still have to cook for our meals, as I said before, which is the beef in a slow cooker and the ground beef to go with our creamy sauce. This is our chicken a la king. We'll be putting it over rice, but what we're going to do, uh, we're going to save it for another day, obviously, mm -hmm. and by uh, cooling down the sauce and the, and the chicken and uh, putting it in the... Refrigerator. refrigerator. I wanted in to call container. it a reach-in so bad. <laughs> we'll, put it, we'll put it in a container first. Yeah. And then we already have our beef um, sauce. Show them that again. Beef sauce? In the bowl. Oh, yeah. I put the lid on it. Why'd you put a lid on it? Because we're going to put it in the refrigerator. 
Oh, it started. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we have the leftover sauce that we didn't put chicken in yeah. to go with the ground beef we're going to put in, in it. And we're going to mm -hmm. have that on rice one night with yes. salad. With so salad. our $5 box of salad, show them that again. We, I, we buy a $5 organic box of salad that has um, half spinach and half uh, spring mix or something in it. Yeah. And it's perfect. It's very healthy. And then we, Jessica made um, a bunch of chopped vegetables to last maybe the week. We don't know if it'll last all week for four of us, but uh, it might. It might. And uh, we put that on top of the salad, and we have a beautiful meal every night. Pretty good, huh? I'm excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you guys want to um, wanna hang out, um, I have a Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, After this long, I, I kind of just start losing my words. So I have a Discord where you guys can uh, hang out and chat about uh, the the um, stream or whatever else you want. You can also drop recipes in there as well. Uh, Hannah, if you're still here, can you put up the Discord command, please? Thank you in advance. Um, so if you if you like what you see, go ahead and click that heart and drop a follow. I'll love you forever. And you can also follow me on work on rewind. You can also follow me on Twitter at Working Chef Two. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Yeah, and uh, we will be coming back tomorrow. Thank you, Hannah, for putting up the Discord. We'll be coming back tomorrow at uh, one one o'clock, one p.m. Pacific Standard Time, UTC eight. Uh, and thank you for the follow. I eat goldfish. Thank you for the follow. I eat goldfish. <laughs> so we'll be coming back tomorrow at um, 1, 1, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and we will <laughs> we will be uh, doing we'll be showing how to uh, how to make the chicken tacos um, for tomorrow and also, we'll be showing creme brulee French toast. Creme brulee French toast. The prep for that. Make ahead creme brulee French toast, which we will cook the next day. Yeah, we'll cook the next day, and I'll put up a final picture of it on uh, Twitter and also in my Discord. Well, we can cook it live. We can show them the end result live too. <laughs> well, that'd be kind of silly, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just to pop out, pop up for a minute, and go, hey. Here we are. <laughs> I'm taking it out of the oven. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we feel about it. Uh, creme brulee French toast, uh, Bran Shazam. All right. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We will be starting roughly on time. <laughs> we, we will not be a half an hour late tomorrow. <laughs> and Bran, he's looking up the nutritional value of goldfish. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we will be, um, Chef will be putting that uh, recipe up on Discord tonight as well. For yeah. The creme brulee French toast. There is an actual recipe for it. An actual recipe. We're not making it up. And I forgot you guys like to see me eat on stream, so. <laughs> we just want to see you taste it. We don't want to watch you eat it. I don't Taste know. They it. stick around for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking and hanging out. Oh, cool, Felga. What Glad you found it. Say? He found the uh, book that the Chicken Ola King came from. Oh, nice. All right. So um, we have our chicken. Is is it on the screen with the wide and the one above? What? Is, is yeah. this here? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Bren is eating too. I bet I know what he's eating. <laughs> I bet he's eating noodles and sausage and cream sauce <laughs> with cheese in it. Yes? What do you want? Can you get me a dressing? Oh. <laughs> I was wondering what you're pointing to. Oh my <laughs> gosh, guys. I'm a complete mess. Look at this. <laughs> what is this disgusting? Boy, chef. 
What a mess you are. I am a super mess. Super, I'm taking this off. Super duper mess. <laughs> oh there my god, go. did you buy this sour cream? No. Where in the world? Oh wait, that? yes I did. What for? This is the smallest little thing of sour cream I've ever seen. It's not that small. It's really small. small. What'd you buy it for? Uh, <gasps> look what we have. Let's yeah. have some of that. <laughs> oh yeah, with chicken? I'm having some. That would be awesome. Okay, what am I doing? That's not what my dish is. Well, I'm having some. Okay, you can't. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can what ruin you my eat dish. It? Ruined. I'm not gonna ruin it. Ruined. <laughs> not ruining it. <laughs> Jeez. Um, how come I can't find any dressing? <gasps> we might not have any. Oh, we do. Believe me. I mean, I can make one really quick. No, no, no. I have so much dressing. Oh, here's one. What's the date on it? I don't know. It's not too old. I think we'll throw these away, yeah? Yeah. Throw those away. Or we could make uh, potato croquettes. Yeah? Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, we're also doing <laughs> potato croquettes tomorrow. Because all we need is this and eggs and stuff, yeah? Yep. Okay. Oh, we're good. This is we're good until January of 2016. Oh, there you go. We better eat it fast. Yeah. Put some more mine too, then. I gotta go practice. Oh. All right. I don't know why my nose is giving me. So we'll be coming back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be showing how to do the. Uh, creme brulee French toast. I know. Oh, I'm creme, I'm creme brulee uh, French toast and the chicken tacos. And we will also be showing you how to do potato croquettes, <laughs> which is not something a lot of people do anymore. And what do you do with those and how do you make them? It's like a potato pancake, but it's in a ball and it's deep fried. Oh, so not healthy. Yes, we're going to deep fry oh, tomorrow. Holy heck, do we have deep frying oil? I do. <gasps> Yay, because <laughs> I don't want to spend a lot of money on that either. Mm -hmm. All right, good. All right. So, and, if you, and guys, if you like what you see, go ahead and click that heart, drop a follow. I'll love you forever. And you can also follow me on Working Chef. Uh, <laughs> you can also follow me on Twitter at Working Chef, too. I'm going to stop the stream now for, for reals, for realties this time. <laughs> Because I'm getting really tired. Um, we are going to actually uh, host somebody before we stop the stream. Though. We are? Yeah. Who are we hosting? Uh, Goobers 515. Oh, okay. Sorry if I'm making too much noise over here, but I. Chef put my silverware away and did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm fixing it. Oh, what did you get on the floor over here? Chicken juice. Oh, God, and I just walked in it. I hope the dog already licked it, and I just walked in the lick part. Huh? <laughs> so, um, keep in mind, the Goober's channel is intended for mature audiences, but I'm still going to host them. <laughs> There's enough chicken here for Dad and Clinton, right? Yeah. Oh, he's in the middle of his uh, his introduction. Yeah. He is loud and he is very, very energetic. So if you guys aren't into that, um, you can always uh, quit now. Quit now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's sending you over there. Yeah. Right now, he's watching a SpongeBob s screen and uh, <laughs> yelling a lot. What? <laughs> hey Clinton, hey, you want to come over? Clint, you should come over because we got a lot of food here and it needs to be eaten. A lot of food. A lot of food. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> and I have cranberry sauce you can have with your chicken. Chef doesn't like it that I'm doing that. We need to eat it. My chicken. I'm not. I'm not going to have it on your chicken. Ruined. <laughs> I'm having it next to it or near it. Not even on it. 
Not even touching. All right, guys. So I think I, it's almost... All right, so if you guys like SpongeBob, um, yeah. I, I, I hate coming into it at this time. Yes, and don't make salty, salty cream sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate coming into it at this time? Um, because uh, he's going to be more focused on uh, the introduction than um, people at the time. Oh. But um, we're going to take you to Goober's 515 right now. There is currently a guitar solo, I know, guitar solo going on. And uh, hope you, hopefully you guys in, enjoy him <laughs> and his craziness. <laughs> He'll be over here apparently next Friday. He will be here next Friday. All right, we're going to stop streaming. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Bye.